He's late. Who? I just think if a person tells another person they're going to be in a particular place at a particular time, they should be there then. That's all. And what time was this person supposed to arrive? He wasn't very specific. Before lunch. Before lunch could mean 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, or 11.47. Hi. Hello. I'm sorry if I'm late. Oh, no. I, what time is it? I didn't even notice. Hello. I understand you want us to work on another case for you. Well, it's more a continuation of the last one. Did uh, Rose tell you about Joe? Not much. Uh, well, okay, now, this is his story. He says he took full responsibility for, uh, for Tiso's death, and then he tried to set it up to look as if uh, he had been murdered in reprisal. Then he went south for a while. Then I ended up in the Bahamas, which is where he was until a, a week ago. He says he went alone. No bodyguards, not even a gun. After he'd been there a while, he contacted a new organization here. He told them where he was, and he said he was out of the business. He claims no one came after him. So he waited two more months. He contacted them again. He said he wanted to come back to New York, and he says they said that it was no concern of theirs. Am I going too fast for it? No. Okay, so... He, uh, he waited two more months, or only two weeks after this, and he came back. So he says now he's out, and it's all over, and he, uh, he wants to go legitimate and uh, be just with Chabon. Now, he came to see me yesterday to try to reassure me. He was pleasant, he was straightforward. At times, he reminded me of the Joe I uh, first became friends with long ago. But he was also determined as hell to convince me of his story. And he got angry uh, when I wouldn't go along with him. But he was careful. He, uh, he has to be with me, but with all of us, be because of Siobhan. But you don't believe him? No, no. I've already uh, sent out my own lines of inquiry, but I would like you to check out his story and find out whatever you can. Fine. And I think you're right. Can you handle it? Well, sure, I started it. I mean, I might as well. OK, you can set up the financial arrangement. Meanwhile, I have an appointment. So long, Jack. Well, thanks, sir. Right, Matt. Bye-bye. How do you like that? What? He has an appointment. Well, that's what he said. I know, but... I, uh, think we have some unfinished business to take care of. Think so. Oh, Bobby, it's horrible. I was just over at Ryan's, and everybody there hates me. I'm not exaggerating, either. Frank and Johnny and... Well, actually, I hate Roger. And Siobhan, too. I couldn't stand it. And then I came here. What's the matter? Why are you looking at me like that? No. <laughs> Tonight, One Life to Live finds its voice in a spectacular musical event. Romance takes hold. I love you, Cole Sarnard. And won't let go. I don't want to lead you on. And I'm not ready to give up on you. On a night when secrets are revealed. Love takes center stage. You're a star in the world, you're all you knew, even me, you're a star cross lovers. 
And it all leads up to one unforgettable night where anything can happen. Don't miss this incredible musical event. Tonight, one life to live. Weekdays on ABC, weeknights on SoapNet. Are you living with Crohn's disease? Never know when I'll have a flare. The pain is bad. Going out means planning every detail. Miss my best friend's wedding. So many pills. If you're on medication and still having flares, your Crohn's disease may not be under control. Go to livingwithcrohnsdisease.com and take the Crohn's control quiz. Talk to your gastroenterologist about the results and current treatments. I won't give up. Crohn's disease will not control me. Good idea, Sally. Oh, thanks, Scott. It was my idea. Well, little things like that make a difference. For example, Scott Naturals. You get the high quality performance you need and just the right blend of recycled fibers. Best of both worlds. I like that. Yep. It's like having your cake. And eating it too. Exactly. It's green done right. Do you know, Scott? Scott Naturals are green done right. Have you been wondering if it's really love? Thinking about a new career? If you should stay where you are, make a change. Why take chances with your future? Call California Psychics and get connected to the perfect psychic for you. For years, we've been helping people find the answers to life's questions. Visit CaliforniaPsychics.com and choose from gifted, top-rated psychics, each one screened for their ability to guide people. Pick your psychic online or let our friendly customer care agents assist you. Your reading will take place on the phone, so it's convenient and confidential. Predicting your destiny is just a call or click away. Call 1-800-PREDICT or visit CaliforniaPsychics.com. New customers just a dollar per minute. If your psychic reading isn't the best you've ever had, it's free. California Psychics, the psychic service more people trust. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? Better. I should say wonderful, or else you'll never let me out of here. Everything's ready. Honey, we got a problem. I'm not going to be able to take you home this morning. I'm going to be in surgery all day, starting in about 15 minutes. They're prepping the patient now. But you promised. I didn't know. Look, I should be finished around 7 o'clock or so. Fine. Then I'll just meet you at home. What? I'll manage. It's only getting in and out of a cab. Ooh. You're too busy. I'm not letting you go home by yourself. You, you want to have a relapse or something? I won't. Look, honey, I just, I don't have time to argue. I know, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm so miserable. I know. Can I call my mother? Maybe she can help. Is that all right? Sure, sure. Just leave word at the desk. I'll check with them later. I have to go. Just don't try moving yourself, okay? Yes. I'm still a little weak. Yeah. I'll see you, you later. You're better. I'll try. Hello? Hi, it's me. Oh, hello, darling. What a coincidence. I was just sitting here thinking about you. Well, at least somebody is. What's wrong? I was supposed to go home today, but my husband is too busy to help me. He's going to be in surgery until tonight. How inconsiderate of him. That's right. You make fun of me. I'm sorry, darling, but a few hours one way or the other can't really matter that much, can they? It's another eight hours. And if I don't get out of here in the next 15 minutes, they're going to have to transfer me to the psychiatric ward or the morgue. Ah, glad to see you haven't lost your sense of the dramatic. Look, Kim, would you like me to come and pick you up? If it's not too much trouble. Of course it isn't, but please say so. You'll save both of us a lot of time. Now, I'll be by with the car in a little while, and then I'll stay with you at the apartment till Seneca gets back. Will that be all right? Thank you. Well, it'll be fun. We'll, uh, we'll have an afternoon together. See you soon. Uh, Audrey, will you get my coat for me, please? Yes, it's Mrs. Woodard. Will you have the car brought round front, please? Thank you. Thank you, Audrey. 
Oh, hi, Audrey. Good morning, sir. I'm glad you caught me before I left. Kim just called. Uh, Seneca's going to be tied up for the afternoon, so I promised to go over to the hospital and pick her up oh. and then stay with her till he gets back. You can't manage without me, can't you? I will. I'll miss you. But sure, no problem. Tell Kim I hope she feels better. Yes, I will. What did I do with my gloves? There oh. they are. Darling, would you do me a favor? Would you go get the, uh, the Woods, Michigan file? It should be on the desk in the library. Sure. Yes, it's, it's Mrs. Woodard again. I won't be wanting the car, but I want you to do something else for me. In about 15 seconds, I want you to ring through here again, put me on hold, and then hang up after the light goes out. And most important of all, you're to forget that any of this ever happened. Here we go. Good. Oh, thank you. Kim should sleep through part of the afternoon, so I'll be... Oh, <laughs> I can't get out of here at all. Nello. <laughs> I got it. Polly! Listen, darling, I can't talk to you right now. What do you mean, goodbye forever? Polly. Darling, I'll make the time. Tell me, what is it? Oh, now, Polly, we all knew that about Craig, and I... Mm. Polly, stop that. Polly. Now, come on, don't be ridiculous. You have everything in the world to live for. Polly. She hung up. What's the matter? Her latest just went back to his ex-wife, and she wants to kill herself. She's tried it before. I mean, she doesn't really try. She threatens, but I think I better go to her. Uh, well, I'll call Kim and tell her you'll be late. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Kim, what am I going to do about her? Oh, she can wait. I'll explain. No. No, Michael, she really can't. Uh, after everything she's been through, and I just promised, she was, she was practically in tears on the phone. If... Michael, would you do something? Would you go? You just get into a cab, pick her up at the hospital, and stay with her till Seneca gets back. <sighs> Darling, it, it shouldn't be much after dinner time. Well, Ray, she can wait. Kimberly? Wait? Come on, you know it. Oh, I just don't think Dr. Barlock's going to be too crazy about coming home and finding me there. Well, that is his problem. He'll have to understand. Like you do. <sighs> Michael, this is not the time to try to deal with my paranoia. Please, do it for me, please. Sure. All right. Uh, I'll drop you off. No. Uh, no, I'll, I'll take the car because I really think that I'd better try to talk to Polly's psychiatrist. I'm sure he can... Uh, what's his name now? It's uh, Bella... Bella something. It, it's not as though she doesn't say it often enough. Vellaman. That's it. It's, it's, it's Vellaman. You know, I knew this was going to happen. I told her that... Darling, please, shouldn't you be on your way? Yeah. Oh, here it is. I'll see you tonight. Yes, of course. If not sooner. This is what I was trying to get to the other day. Uh, when I got the phone call about Siobhan and Joe. And... I remember. I don't know why, but I think somehow you got the wrong impression about Siobhan and me. Am I right? You don't have to explain. I'm right. No, I mean it. You don't I have know to. I don't. I'm here because I want to be. OK. What impression should I have? Siobhan and I are friends. She's one of my very best friends. She was my sister-in-law. That's all. You uh, thought it was more? Yeah. Why? It's not important. Well, tell me anyway. Well, I came over to Ryan's one day looking for you. And uh, I overheard Siobhan saying something to the bartender. Kevin, what, what, what was she saying? Well, she was talking about the two of you, about how close you are. She didn't see me. She didn't even know who I was then. Anyway, I was very upset at the time, and I guess I misinterpreted. 
When, when was this? A few weeks ago. She had just come back into town. It was before you came to us about the coat. I guess it was a few days after you and I... After New Year's Eve. You were looking for me? Yeah. Why? Um, I, I don't really remember. Um, I guess I needed to tell you something. It's not important now. Well, if it comes to you, let me know. I will. Anyway, thanks for setting me straight. Next time I ask, it's rough enough without trying to figure out which are the real problems and which aren't. You figure it out? I'm working on it. So am I. Good. Guess there are plenty of real ones, huh? Yep. Well, I uh, think we'd better get back to it. I'm the case. Joe Novak, you know? Yeah. That Donna Martin has such great style. The baby doll, the mall rat, the mermaid. Wow. Beverly Hills 90210. Back to back, weekday starting at 4 on SoapNet. All this week on The View, it's Nail Co-Host Week. Whoopi, Joy, Sherry, Elizabeth, and Barbara will each have their best guy friends sit in as guest co-host. How will that work out? You gotta see it to believe it on all new views weekdays only on ABC. Have you seen SoapNet.com? Here's what's happening right now. Get all the latest updates on your favorite cast comings and goings. Check out our weekly in-depth video features, including bonus scenes on More Life to Live. Plus, click through with current full episodes of General Hospital, One Life to Live, and All My Children. Let's do it. And sign up for the weekly SoapNet newsletter, your source for all the latest soap news. Get storyline sneak peeks, fun quizzes, scoops on special Soap Nation events, and much more delivered to your inbox every Monday. Find it all now at SoapNet.com. No, you can't. What is this? That's exactly what it says, Dee. It's my letter of resignation. Bobby! I've also made out a list of information you can pass on to the guy who becomes the new manager. If I've left anything out, he can call me. You got the number. You can't do this! Dee, I wished I could have given you two weeks' notice, but some things have happened we didn't plan upon. I won't let you. You can't resign. I don't accept it, see? You can't leave me. Dee, I am leaving my job. Now, that is it. What about me? Well, what about you? Bobby, you're all I have left. Don't you know that? Everybody hates me. May can't even look me in the eye. I wish she'd just tell me how much she hates me and throw me out on the street. Well, why don't you tell her that? I'm sure she'd be glad to. Look, Dee. Go on. Do what you have to do. It doesn't matter. I may be going through this the wrong way, Dee, but... Just go. It doesn't matter anymore. I can't make you love me. I'm doing what I think is best for us, Dee, for both of us. I'm cutting you loose. I'm letting you get a new start on life. Now, you're not, you're not going to die. You survive. You know that. I always had you. And maybe you will again. But not now. I'm just too angry. Someday. When? I, I can't say that. Someday. I'm not going to promise anything. Well, where will you go? I'll find something. Not that rice and place. You hate that. No, oh, no. I'll find something, Dina. Don't you worry about it. Well, why don't you stay here? I've already explained that to you. Well, not forever. Just long enough for you to find something else. You could go on working here while you look. And meanwhile, I could get another manager, and you could train him to take over. And it won't... I, it might take a long time for you to find another job. Not because you're not wonderful, but because you never know. And this way, you'll have the money, and I'll... Have, uh... What? Some time. For what? I really need you, Bobby. Please just give me some time. I want to change. And maybe after a while you won't leave. You won't want to. You'll see. Maybe everybody will see. Maybe. So you'll stay? 
Six weeks, maximum. In the meantime, I'm going to be looking for something else, and I want you to promise me that you're going to try to find a replacement for me. Well, maybe I won't have to. You'll see. What goes down between us now is business, and that's it. I don't want to hear about Frank, and I don't want to hear about Maeve looking at you or not looking at you. If you can accept that, fine. I, okay, I do. Thank you. I do need you business-wise, too. And meanwhile... But that's up to you, Dee. You do what you have to do. I will, I promise. Next, take a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless, only on SoapNet. Tonight, One Life to Live finds its voice in a spectacular musical event. Romance takes hold. I love you, Cole Sarnhart. And won't let go. And it all leads up to one unforgettable night where anything can happen. Tonight, One Life to Live. I could not deliver a safe life for our kids. The sins of a father will be paid for by his sons. I killed Claudia. You want proof? This May on General Hospital, a cop's quest to bring his father to justice. I sentence you to five years in penitentiary. Puts his brother behind bars. Now, a young man's only chance for survival is a trained killer. I'm going to prison. I need to get on the inside. Make sure Michael's safe. The Sins of the Father. This May on General Hospital. I am a non-attorney spokesperson. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with mesothelioma, call the number on your screen now. Mesothelioma and other asbestos-related diseases, such as lung cancer, have been directly linked to asbestos exposure. Exposure to asbestos in mills, shipyards, or in the heating, automotive, and construction industries may have put you at risk. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with mesothelioma, call the number on your screen now for a free legal consultation. Secondhand exposure to asbestos may have also put loved ones at risk for mesothelioma or lung cancer. If you've been diagnosed with mesothelioma or lung cancer, please don't wait. Call today for your free legal consultation. You may be entitled to compensation. We're standing by to take your call in confidence. Call 1-800-253-0092. Don't delay. That's 1-800-253-0092. Never be pale and pasty white again. Introducing Luminous Tan, the first spa quality airbrush tan you use at home. Just airbrush away that pale and sickly skin. Now it's easy to have a healthy glow and always look great. Just touch the button and apply. It takes just minutes with the state-of-the-art airbrush and tanning formula. No streaks, no drips, no smell, and no damaging ultraviolet rays. You'll get a velvety smooth, rich dark tan instantly that lasts up to 14 days. And with no mess. It's perfect for him and her. And everyone knows how much thinner you look with a beautiful tan. Self-tanners don't work well, and tanning salons cost hundreds of dollars a year. Through this television offer, you can try Luminous Tan for 30 days for just a dollar a day. Get a tan at home and save money, too. And Luminous Tan comes with our no-mess promise. Really, it's the cleanest way to get a year-round golden glow. Call right now. Call 1-800-876-0354. Now playing on DirecTV Cinema. Four, three, you're totally relaxed. It started as a sleep disorder study. Tell me what you see. There's something outside my door. And became the most compelling evidence yet <laughs> of an encounter of the fourth kind. No! Alien abduction. The proof is here for you to experience. I can't explain it. The fourth kind. Now playing on DirecTV Cinema. Movies playing on channels 125 through 199. I should be able to get started on this right away. I'll have to take it a little more slowly than usual, though, because it's important that no one catches the connection between you and me, that we know each other and we've worked together in the past. That shouldn't be a problem. Good. Oh, uh, I've got to get going. I have to pick Ryan up at school. How is she? Oh, she's good. She's uh, crazy about her teacher. She's on a whole new art kit. Draws all the time. You should have seen the picture she brought home the other day. What is it? Uh, an elephant. Or a boat. 
Well, I'm not sure which. Uh, well, the subject isn't important. It's the style. Of course. <laughs> I'd like to see it sometime. She asked about you. I miss her. I'd like to see her sometime. I don't know if that'd be a good idea. Maybe not. We never did get to see that tree at Rockefeller Center. That's gone now. Yeah. Well, we could still go there. The tree's down, but we could go ice skating. I don't know, Rose. I... Well, if, if you don't want to go... I can take care of myself. I'm not worried about me. Ryan misses you. This might make it harder. Look. I'm the one who said that from the start. Whatever happens, happened between us, doesn't necessarily have to mean that I have to drop out of Ryan's life completely. She's been through that before, when her mother died. Anyway, I was her best friend. She says that you still are. I'd like to see her. Tomorrow afternoon? You're on. Good. See ya. Hello? What are you doing here? Well, Never I... mind. My mother's on her way to pick me up. She's going to walk in here any second. No, she's not. She, uh, she said to say she's sorry, but she can't make it. Polly called. And her boyfriend dumped her or something, and she threatened to kill herself. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, she asked me to come by and pick you up and take you home until Seneca gets back. She did? Yeah. That's wonderful. I missed you. I missed you, too. And we have the whole afternoon to be together. I don't think that's such a good idea. What? What we're both thinking about. I'm not contagious. No, but your husband might come in. No, he won't. He's going to be in surgery until tonight. It's perfect. I don't know. Well, I do. It's been a long time and I missed you. We'll see. Let's go. Audrey, if anyone should phone, tell them that I'll be out for the afternoon. Shall I have your calls put through to the office? No, no, I won't be there. I'll be uh, visiting a sick friend. Very well, madam. Have a good day. We'll see. In Landview, rules were meant to be broken, and its residents will stop at nothing to get their way. Catch all the Landview shenanigans on an all-new episode of One Life to Live, weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. I got in the elevator, but my knees feel like jelly. I think you better carry me into the other room. Uh, let me take your coat, Mrs. Bolak. <laughs> okay, now uh, take a deep breath. Put one arm around my waist, and I'll help you over to the sofa. You know, actually, I think you should stay another day at the doctor's, but I'm not the doctor. Well, that's funny. Then how come I feel so much better when you're around? <clears throat> OK. <laughs> We're going to sit you down here, put your feet up, and I'm going to get the Afghan, put it in your lap, and then I'll make you something hot to drink. I'd rather go straight to bed. Yeah, whatever you say. Let me get organized first. I thought you were always organized. 
Well, if I have a little preparation first, but I wasn't prepared to bring you home from the hospital. You know, I honestly couldn't have sat in that hospital room one minute longer. When Seneca told me he was going to be in surgery till dinner time, I thought I'd die. That's not the point of this exercise. If I had to, I would have crawled home all by myself. But I'm much happier that Mama sent you. Even though I can't quite believe it, what was going on with Polly again? She called just as Ray was going out the door. I gathered from Ray's end of the conversation, Polly was hysterical. Ray said she was threatening suicide. Some guy named Craig walked out on her or something. I met him once. He thought Chip was stuffy. Mm. We're all alone. I thought we were all alone. You take chances. Sometimes. I want something bad enough. Oh, I've missed you. And I kept worrying about you, and there wasn't a damn thing I could do for you. I wasn't in any danger. Yeah, yeah, you were. And I felt responsible. Michael, I'm sorry for blaming you about the balcony. It wasn't anybody's fault. I just kept thinking the whole time, what if I never see her again? Oh, Kim, I do love you. You know that, don't you? Yes, I do. I know I don't say that to you very often, probably because it hurts too much to think about it. You're married, and I'm, I'm what? I'm, uh, I'm overly ambitious, maybe. And I know that you and I can never be together the way you and Seneca are. Not officially. So then nobody can ever separate us. Unless you want to. But I do love you. Thank you for telling me. You make love to me now. We shouldn't. Not here. Nobody's here. Nobody will be here. Seneca's in surgery. Mother's with Polly. Please, Michael. Hello, Dorothy. How are you? Mrs. Woodard, how nice to see you. I'm very well, thank you. Overworked, but aren't we all? <laughs> You know, I have never understood how Seneca manages to be an administrator and a neurosurgeon. It's absolutely amazing, and I know he couldn't do it without you. <laughs> I try to tell him that. You must be enormously relieved. Mrs. Bolak is coming home today, isn't she? Yes, she is, and therein lies the source of my problem. Now, Seneca is tied up in surgery, as I'm sure you know, and Kim is absolutely frantic to get out of here, so I've been summoned to supervise the homecoming. And unfortunately, Kimberly cannot find her keys, so I was wondering, do you happen to have Seneca's set or, or maybe an extra set? We are prepared for any emergency. Oh, thank you so much, Dorothy. You don't know what a help this is going to be. deliver a safe life for our kids. The sins of the father. My son, he's destroyed lives. Will be paid for by his sons. I killed Claudia. You are proof! This may on General Hospital. You turn him into the cops! Well, oh, Michael, have a good life. As far away from you as possible. A cop's quest to bring his father to justice. Michael Krentos III, I sentence you to five years in state penitentiary. Puts his brother behind bars. I never wanted you to pay for this. I just wrecked my brother's life. As two parents reconnect. Out of all the people in this world, we keep finding each other. Two lovers will fight to stay together. I'm gonna make him suffer. We dismantle Dante piece by piece. Now, a young man's only chance for survival is a trained killer. I'm going to prison. And for their love story, could this be goodbye for life? I need to get on the inside. Make sure Michael's safe. The Sins of the Father. This May on General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC. Weeknights on SoapNet. 
Ten years ago, eHarmony showed the world that we could make the process of finding a meaningful relationship better. Now, we're making it even easier. Introducing the next generation of eHarmony with enhanced features like eHarmony Mail, improved profile previews, and our new Something to Talk About feature designed to make that first conversation even easier. Added to our deep compatibility matching system, you've got an even better chance of finding the person you've been looking for. Discover the new eHarmony.com today and start reviewing your matches for free. For extra dry skin, there's Luberderm Advanced Therapy. And now, there's Luberderm Advanced Therapy SPF 30, the only body moisturizer with an SPF this high. Its nutrients match the same nutrients naturally found in healthy skin for a great, clean feel with the best UVA, UVB protection. See you later, alligator. Advanced Therapy SPF 30 is here. Luberderm, your moisture matched. Go to Luberderm.com for $2 savings. I'm an adult with ADHD. I'm getting treatment, but sometimes I still have a hard time focusing and paying attention. Distractions can make my day even more challenging, especially the mornings when I really need to be organized. Now there's an action guide just for adults with ADHD that may help. Call 1-800-375-6304 or visit the website for your free copy. The guide has tips that may help reduce distractions so I can focus. With ADHD, I sometimes have trouble meeting deadlines. The guide showed me how to be better organized, which may help me finish projects on time. Having ADHD, I often spend a lot of time looking for things. The guide offered me tips on reducing clutter, which helps me find important items. ADHD affects each of us differently. This guide has tips and tools that you can personalize to fit your needs, which may help you organize so you can focus on what's important throughout the day. Call 1-800-375-6304 or visit ADHDActionGuide.com. Hi. Hi. I'm early. Is that inconvenient? No, not at all. I'm ready for you. I'm not so sure that I'm ready. I've never dissolved a partnership before. Well, then we're even. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I had Dave do an accounting, so maybe we should start from there. Fine. Okay. Here's a copy for you. This is what was in the partnership account as of December 1. Why that date? Well, I f it just it seemed logical. We didn't receive any payments on any of your business after that date, and I don't think there's anything outstanding. Right. And the partnership bills prior to that date have all been paid, so I guess we just split the balance. It's fine. All right, now then, office equipment and supplies. Now, we can either divide them, or we can assign a value, and I'll buy them from No, 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 because there are a few things that I would like. My typewriter, a little adding machine, and a three-draw file in my office. That old wooden one? Yeah, I'll strip the paint off. It's uh, probably oak under that battleship gray. Uh, uh, anything else? Heavy-duty stapler. Ooh. Ooh, that one hurts. No, 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 I bought it for you. <laughs> yes, along with the pliers, screwdriver, hammer, and flashlight. Now, that was to keep you from borrowing mine. That was an excuse. The truth is, you can control yourself in a hardware store. <laughs> Any woman who has 37 unused three-ring binders should not criticize. Oh, there are that many left. Well, mm -hmm. I'll take them all with me, as many as I can carry. Uh, now, that leaves the new files, the desk, the rosewood and leather chair, <clears throat> and the, the copying machine. You keep the rest, and let me buy your half of the copying machine. Uh, no, I can't. I can't. Why not? I can't stand apart with it. You can buy a brand new one, a new model, one that collates. You get a new one. I like this one. So do I. Why? Because I'm used to it, because I like it, because it likes me. It likes me better. It likes Georgia best of all. That's true. Uh -huh. So if Georgia comes with me, maybe the machine should come with her. Georgia isn't going with you. Georgia is mine. She always has been mine. Who found her? Oh, that's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. It absolutely is not. It is. No. During six years ago, during the first city council campaign, who found Georgia Rothschild and convinced her to petition for you? You did, but that... No, that... No, yeah, yeah. And who also, once you were elected, uh, convinced her to go back to work full-time? You did. All right, you did. Yeah. Okay, no, 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 wait a minute. And then, once you were elected Congress, who convinced you to allow her to manage the New York office? <laughs> she did. I did. She wanted to take care of me. She has taken care of you for six years, and now it is my turn to be taken care of. Why don't we just let Georgia decide? It's not fair to ask Georgia to choose between us. Will 
Look, you're not even ready yet. You don't even have an office space. Well, actually, I do. Although I can't move into the building until June. What building? The old hotel that Maury Bloom is restoring on the drive. It's small, mm. sweet, the ground floor, and it's perfect. Mm. Well, yeah, it sounds terrific. Yeah. <laughs> I ran into him one day last week. Funny, he's the only person in Riverside, I think, that doesn't know that we... that we changed our plans. Where was he during the trial? He was in Bermuda the week that Ken died. I... Look, <laughs> Look, I, I have just an... Went... No, I'm sorry, you first. No, 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 you go ahead. All right, a proposal. Since... Well, since it's so confusing, why don't we leave Georgia with me for now? Until you move into your office, say, at the end of June? No, let's, let's say the 4th of July. It's Independence Day. I like that touch. Okay, we'll take Georgia out to lunch together and we'll see how she feels about it. That'll give her a chance, that'll give us a chance to get used to the idea and her a chance to adjust to all the changes. It's good. Hmm? And it's fair, thanks. How does Georgia feel about you and Faith? If you don't mind my asking. I think you better ask her that question. Of course. So, what's next? Uh, the copying machine. Oh, uh, well, I'll look around. I don't really want it in my apartment anyway, and then I'll, I'll just let you know. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I asked David to do a partnership, 1980 partnership tax return. The official document. Exactly. Huh? So the date of dissolution of the partnership can be the date of the filing, if that's all right with you. It's fine. Today? Yeah, why not? Why not, indeed? All right. Take a look, sign you know where, and that will be the end of Ryan and Coleridge. Coleridge and Ryan. What next? Uh, certificate of dissolution to be filed at the county clerk's office. There's four copies of these. Quite straightforward. And notification of dissolution to the IRS and to the state collector of taxes. A copy for each of us. And I'll write you a check for the December balance. Thanks very much. So, uh, let's see. I get one of each of these. Mm -hmm. And you get the rest of it. Okay. Thank you. And here's the check. Oop. You left the stub in there. Oh. Is that it? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Jill, wait, where's the tax return? There's nothing can be official without that. No, I, I put it over here. No, it's not here. I just put Try it Try your it. briefcase. Try no, it. I just put the four letters in it. Here it is. What was that all about?
Wilma. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, darling. I didn't mean to wake you up. Please, go back to sleep. Oh, that's all right. What all I do these days. What time is it? About 3.30 or thereabouts. I thought... I haven't been sleeping that long. Michael said that you were with Polly. She all right? Uh, well, no, not really, but uh, I left her in the very capable hands of her psychiatrist. Sorry I had to run off like that. Oh, that's all right. Michael got me home from the hospital. That's the main thing. Oh. Is he still here? Well, I really don't know. Uh... Michael! Uh, <laughs> I wanted to go to sleep, so I left him in the living room reading. Oh, well, I, I told him to wait with you until Seneca got back. I'm sure he didn't see the point. I mean, how was he supposed to entertain me while I'm sleeping? You exhausted? No, not exactly. As a matter of fact, I'm a little bored. Being sick was fun when he got to stay home from school, but not this. Welcome to the adult world. I've been here for a few years. Yeah, I know. Precocious little devil. Just like my mother. Oh, it's so nice to hear you say that. Affectionately. Now, tell me, what can I do for you? What can I get you? Anything? Nothing, thank you. And I know you're busy, and this is precious business time, no matter what you say. So why don't you let me take a rain check for when I'm really desperate, and you go on about your business, and I'll call you later. All right, if you're sure. There are a few things I'd like to clear up with Michael. Hmm, sure there are. What do you mean? I mean that I know you're busy. I love you. Thank you. Thank you, too. You, you have no idea how much this has helped me. You have no idea how much better I feel. Bye, darling. Bye, Mother. Tonight, One Life to Live finds its voice in a spectacular musical event. Romance takes hold. I love you, Cole Thornhardt. And won't let go. And it all leads up to one unforgettable night where anything can happen. Tonight, One Life to Live. Brighter skin, Brighter skin, younger skin, younger skin younger I want skin. both. Introducing a new Clinical Luminosity Pro. A brilliant breakthrough from Avon. It's got injectable grade brightener. The look of dark spots, illuminated. Dullness, brightened. And when skin looks brighter, it looks younger. A new Clinical Luminosity Pro does it. And only Avon has it with a love it or return it guarantee. Want it? Get it. Get it. Call 1-800-4-AVON or visit avon.com to find a representative. Nice to meet you. The world has changed. One in five relationships now begin on an online dating site. And while you never know where things will lead, Match.com has led to more dates, more relationships, and more marriages than any other site. Join today. For strong bones, I take calcium. But my doctor told me that most calcium supplements aren't absorbed properly unless taken with food. He recommended Citricow. It's different. It's calcium citrate, so it can be absorbed with or without food. Citricow. That Donna Martin has such great style. The baby doll, the mall rat, the mermaid. Wow. Beverly Hills 90210. Back to back. Weekday starting at 4 on SoapNet. All this week on The View, it's Nail Co-Host Week. Whoopi, Joy, Sherry, Elizabeth, and Barbara will each have their best guy friends sit in as guest co-hosts. How will that work out? You gotta see it to believe it. On all new views, weekdays only on ABC. Wooded residence, Michael Pavel speaking. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'll never argue with you again. <laughs> Can I count on that? My solemn promise. You were absolutely right. What? What happened? About 20 minutes ago, I was lying here thinking about all the things we could have been doing if you hadn't been so damn careful and disciplined. And all of a sudden, I heard the doorknob turn. I nearly screamed. So I closed my eyes and snuggled down, and about 30 seconds later, my mother was tucking me under the covers. 
How did you know? Well, I, I didn't know anything except that making love in your apartment this afternoon was not a good idea. Do you think she set us up? Possible, but not probable. Well, we didn't get caught, and everything's fine, and I love you. Okay? Okay. And look, you know, I don't like being cautious, but one of us has to, so don't be mad at me next time, okay? And I love you, and uh, I, I better get off the phone. See you soon? Well, absolutely. Hello there. Hi. How was Polly? Oh, well, in pieces, poor lamb, but her doctor sent me home. How's Kim? Oh, in pretty good shape. She wanted to go to sleep, so I left after about 10 minutes. Oh, you wanted me to stay there until Dr. Bolock got home, but, uh... But what? Well, my best judgment, Kim didn't really need me, and I sort of felt uneasy about being alone there with her. Why? Well, because I knew it was expedient, but I knew it was a situation you weren't comfortable about. And because Dr. Bolak wouldn't like it. And because when Kim is playing helpless and adoring, even though I know that's what she's doing, and she'd probably be doing it with anyone, she gets to me just enough so that I am aware of her sexually. So I thought it was probably a good idea for me to get out of there. I'm sorry, but you did ask, and that's the truth. Oh, don't apologize for that. Oh, that is about the most reassuring answer anybody ever gave anybody. <laughs> I'm so pleased. You are? Anne, I love you rather madly, and I want to be alone with you for a while, so I think that now that Kim is feeling better, we ought to check into our plans for that winter vacation. Before we turn around, we find out it's summer. Mm, not yet. Why not? Not till after your birthday. All right, uh, tell me about my birthday. Nope. Only that it's going to be the best birthday you ever had, Ray Woodard. Mm. You are so sure of yourself. With reason. Next, spend some time in Genoa City with the young and the restless. Later, see who's stirring up trouble in Pine Valley on All My Children. Only on SoapNet. Game on, Erica. It's been a bitter battle. Creamy's not fit to run fusion. But this week... Let me help you take Erica down. ...could prove deadly. Watch your back. What have you done? Watch All My Children. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. Two women, only one Nicholas. Sharon, his past love who can't seem to remain in the past. What do you say we go forward? Phyllis, his wife, who refuses to go down without a fight. No more, Sharon. It's done for you. Who will win his heart? The Young and the Restless, tonight at 7 yeah. on SoapNet. 15 seconds with Julie Marie Berman. When I won Miami, I uh, didn't hear. I said, oh my God, like 10 times. That's, I think, the only thing that was going through my head because I was blank because it was so shocking and wonderful. Catch Julie Marie Berman on General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. When you were 14, we helped keep your skin clear. Now we have a solution for wrinkles. Neutrogena Anti-Wrinkle with Retinol SA smooths even deep wrinkles. It works beautifully. Neutrogena. When is it okay to lose the cover-up? When you can. Take the Special K Challenge. And lose an inch from your waist in two weeks. So lose your cover-up and show off your confidence. Design your plan at SpecialK.com. Your hands are only as clean as the towel used to dry them. So why use the same hand towel over and over instead of a clean, fresh one every time? New Kleenex brand hand towels. A clean, fresh towel every time. Have you been wondering if it's really love? Thinking about a new career? If you should stay where you are, make a change. Why take chances with your future? 
Call California Psychics and get connected to the perfect psychic for you. For years, we've been helping people find the answers to life's questions. Visit CaliforniaPsychics.com and choose from gifted, top-rated psychics, each one screened for their ability to guide people. Pick your psychic online or let our friendly customer care agents assist you. Your reading will take place on the phone, so it's convenient and confidential. Predicting your destiny is just a call or click away. Call 1-800-PREDICT or visit CaliforniaPsychics.com. New customers just a dollar per minute. If your psychic reading isn't the best you've ever had, it's free. California Psychics, the psychic service more people trust. Now playing on DirecTV Cinema. Maestro, should this be red? Yes. Green? No. Yes, no. Yes, no. It's directing. Movies playing on channels 125 through 199. salt out of this all together. <laughs> so, what did Father McShane say to that? Well, that he didn't expect to convert, only to inform. Ah. And then he surprised me. With what? Well, he began to talk about the difference between authority and authoritarian, and freedom, freedom from oneself, and freedom from the expectations of other people, from everything except the demands of truth and what's right. And there wasn't much there to argue about. And did he get around to relating this all to the church? Yes. I asked him a lot of questions, and he tried very hard to answer most of them. Successfully? Sometimes, sometimes not. I was fascinated. And I know I'm going to go on being fascinated in terms of raising my children as Catholics. And that's what this is about, really. Yes. And he already knew that I could agree, simply because of the fact of who Frank is, the man he is, and who you are. How could his children... And well, your grandchildren, Ryan babies, not be Catholic. Oh, Faith, I am so grateful to you for that. Oh, Maeve. Please feel good about us, Frank and me, and know that it's going to work, and it's going to be wonderful, because it is. Lord knows that's what you deserve. And it's what Frank deserves, and that's what we'll have. <laughs> oh, I love you. Oh. <laughs> Oh, look who's here with his ears burning, no Hi. doubt. We were just talking about you. I know. How do you know? Uh, my ears were burning. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> so what were you up to this afternoon? Oh, I just had a couple of business meetings, business as usual. So how did it go with Mac? Oh, better than expected. I was just telling Maeve how happy I am. And I know now that everything is going to be all right. In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet.